because you've got a lot of different like data connectors here and some of these things you can have overlapping data so like ip fabric can get inventory and dna or whatever that is a good point so this is one of the scenarios I use because we don't have it in here but i do actually think this is one of the basic use cases that all of our customers want is hey some run some data consistency overlapping data set issues right it's not just one is a in the in the same let's say in the same uh um, controller, you have overlapping IP address, clearly a problem, or duplicate MAC addresses, clearly a problem. You should be able to scan for this, right? This is very easy. But now you have to, hey, I got data for the same IP address from two different data sources. What are I going to do with this, right? And so, yeah, you basically have to build some logic as an agent. Either you say, hey, I prefer that source over that, or you actually run this and then start cleaning up your data sets, right? And you see, it, there was one of the tables you saw, some of the, the attributes were missing. It's actually a powerful tool. I use this as a powerful tool because now you say, hey, I have inconsistent data, right? I need to clean this up because if I don't have this cleaned up, I just have misleading answers, misguided answers. So yeah. theoretically, you could do something like show me the inventory from IP Fabric versus yes. the inventory from you could absolutely do Center. Compare yeah. data. Yeah. We, we haven't built this in. I don't know whether it will, but... But that's part of the, as we look, we have this option here. We built this on purpose that you can actually either not specify the data source or you specify the data source. 